If it were not for volcanic activity, the United States would be short of a state. It would be short of Hawaii because the Hawaiian island chain consists simply of volcanoes. One, in fact, of the most active volcanic areas in the world, Kilauea, in one of its eruptions not very long ago, erupted 600 million cubic yards of lava, which is sufficient to put a four-lane highway around the world three times. A lot of material. But Hawaii is, in fact, not typical of the volcanic areas of the world because it sits within a plate. And you'll remember that most activity, geological activity, takes place at the margins of plates. You'll remember that, I hope, from last week. And so it is with volcanic activity. Volcanoes that have been in the news, such as Sertse around Iceland and the Guadeloupe volcanoes, are at the margins of plates. In Iceland, the plates are spreading apart, and in Guadeloupe and that area of the Antilles, they're coming together. During this unit, we shall be concerned mainly with the location of volcanoes in relation to plates and also to the products of volcanic activity. The first half hour of the hour is taken up with the Planet of Man program, The Fire Within, and then a further half hour of volcanoes. Volcanoes are certainly one of the most interesting of natural phenomena, and uh, they occur, of course, not at random, but only at certain places. And they seem to occur, those places seem to be where plates are moving, where the tectonic plates are moving relative to one another. They occur along island arcs, like Japan and uh, the uh, West Indies and uh, the Aleutian Islands, quite large numbers of them. And uh, they also occur where plates are moving apart uh, along the mid-ocean ridges, in places like the Azores and uh, Iceland where we know that the ground is actually moving apart, tearing apart. Volcanoes have their uh, advantages as well as their disadvantages. Uh, for example, in Java, where there are many active volcanoes, and from time to time eruptions kill large numbers of people there, um, they also, the ash falls, cover the land with fresh ash, which may be devastating at the time it occurs, but which uh, later forms very good soil. Java is able to support a very dense population, one of the densest in the world. Through me you enter eternal grief. Through me you enter among the lost. Justice moved my high maker. The divine power made me the supreme wisdom and the primal love. Before me, nothing was created, if not eternal, and eternal I endure. Abandon every hope, you who enter. Vulcan, the Roman god of fire and earthquakes, lived here. From this place, the island volcano, Vulcanism took its name. So terrifying was Vulcan's power that man has built great temples to pacify him, for he was a short-tempered, jealous god. Volcanoes are national symbols in Japan. Most revered is Mount Fuji. Every summer, pilgrims make their way to the summit. And once a year, there's a fire festival to soothe the restless god. Today, science has unmasked the myth of Vulcan and exposed the cause of his anger. Yet can molten rock be stayed by appeasement of the spirits? Volcanic activity is as old as the planet itself. Distributed in sinuous belts, active volcanoes occur both on land and sea floor. Between these zones of activity, the Earth's surface is generally inactive. These areas are rigid slabs or plates of cool, brittle rock approximately 60 miles thick.
they move about very slowly on a hot, less rigid layer beneath. This movement of plates adjacent to one another produces molten rock in two different ways. Where two plates separate, pressure is reduced. This allows some melting to occur at depth. Molten rock full of gas erupts at the surface through fissures. Where two plates converge, one slides beneath the other. The friction generates intense heat. Molten rock erupts at the surface through vents or pipes. Molten rock, produced where plates separate, is usually so fluid that it flows almost like water. When it cools, it solidifies to a rock type called basalt. Rock produced where plates come together is often thick and viscous when molten. It cools to a rock type of granitic composition. When molten rock reaches the surface, it loses much of its gas and pours out as lava. The viscosity or fluid nature of this lava determines to a great extent the kind of volcanic eruption. Nearly 2,000 years ago, the Roman statesman Pliny the Younger described the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The event was dramatized in the 1912 Italian epic, Cabiria. Broad flames shone out in several places from Mount Vesuvius. Their brightness seemed to make the surrounding darkness even more impenetrable. Cinders, which grew thicker and hotter the nearer we approached, and pumice stones fell into the ships. Then, suddenly we were in shallow water, and the shore was blocked by the debris from the mountain. produced where two plates converge can be extremely explosive. Because of the viscosity of the lava, gas cannot bubble out and escape without violence. Explosions disperse the solidifying lava. Blocks and cinders fall close to the volcanic vent, building up the characteristic steep-sided cone. dreadful cloud with rapid zigzag flashes revealed behind it various shaped masses of flame like sheet lightning but much larger the buildings were now shaking with violent shocks and seemed to be swaying to and fro as if they were torn from their foundations Heated gases, charged with red-hot dust or ash, light the night sky. Dust in the atmosphere can reduce the heat radiation from the sun and temporarily chill the climate. Electrical charges built up by the propulsion of loose material into the atmosphere are discharged as lightning and thunder. see a dense pall of smoke behind us getting bigger and bigger, following us like a river. We could hear women screaming, children crying and men shouting. Most people had lost faith in the gods and were convinced that this must be their last night on earth, the end of the world. <laughs> 